Sisters fans, let's talk about this particular photo uh, that was posted on Noor Online's uh, Instagram, Twitter. It, it, it's on screen. You, you, you can see it. I know I probably butchered the name, but uh, this is an interesting question here. Sisters fans tap in. When it comes to sisterhood, well, I'm surprised I didn't say sisterhood, but who do you think Andy is more loyal to Karen or Fatima that's an interesting question to be completely honest here due to the fact that it's in my mind I want to say Fatima but the thing about it is these girls have been apparently well friends since apparently college and you know in episode one it was stated that Karen is what 36 so assuming these women went to school at the typical ages of maybe 18 to the early 20s you know it's hard to assume if they went to school like right after high school or perhaps they went to college at different times you know like maybe one of them was in their junior year and another one was a freshman who knows but regardless we can assume these women are all in the age range of maybe 34 to 36 give or take but or basically mid-30s let's just say they're all in their mid-30s so just like the whole Zach and Karen relationship with three years is history, it's safe to say that the women have far more time together as friends, um, probably a decade or so. Now, the thing about it is, the reason I don't say Karen off the bat isn't just because of the rift in the friendship that Andy and Karen have right now. It's the fact that when we look at what's happened in Sisters on screen, not hearsay, not a history lesson of the characters, but what we've seen on screen so far, we've seen the development of the sisterhood between Andy and Fatima from season one to where they are now in season three. And Fatima has had Andy's back plenty of times. And when it comes to Karen, she's had her back several times, but usually to the annoyance of the other characters where more often than not when Karen stands firm on protecting Andy from herself and her bad decisions typically the other girls mainly Sabrina and Danny say Karen you're out of pocket you're out of line you shouldn't do that you shouldn't say that Andy's a grown woman she can make her decisions she needs you to stand with her and I feel like more often than not Karen is being painted to be the villain as opposed to the real one and to be completely honest, you could argue that Danny is the one who shows the most loyalty, mainly because of the fact that maybe loyalty isn't the right word, but someone who doesn't mince words, she gets directly to the point. When you take out the comedic aspect of the character and how she says things, Danny's the one who's going to give you the real talk real quick. And then it's usually Karen and Sabrina that say, you need to stop that. This isn't the time. And they just cuddle or coddle Andy. But then when Karen says it, all of a sudden, Sabrina jumps in. Yeah, we need to do something. And then Danny's like, no, it's like when I said we should do that. Everybody's like, no, you need to talk. You talk too much. Shut up. Sit somewhere in the corner. But then when Karen says it, it's like law. So it just seems like Karen has had Andy's back for a lot longer than Fatima. But that boils down to the history between the women. Like apparently they had to do something to that abusive boyfriend that Andy had in college. We still have no idea what the hell happened. But um, apparently it was something dark. I mean they said they had to do something in order to get rid of him. I hope it wasn't kill him. But eh. now what we do know about Andy is the fact that you could argue that we've seen Karen have Andy's back. And proved to be loyal to Andy far more than Andy has proven to be loyal to Karen. But I don't put Andy at fault for that when you really think about it. The main thing that we learned in season one that Andy did for Karen was... I don't even know if she paid the full thing, but apparently she put up a lot of money in order to help Karen open her dream salon. And that was it. We only know that from one um, a brief mention in one of the early episodes of the show. And it's never been brought up again. 
Karen and Andy definitely have a stronger sisterhood than they do with the other girls in the group. You know, Danny and Sabrina. And these two seem to definitely give each other advice due to the fact that they both find themselves in a lot of toxic situations. You know, the whole dynamic between the on-again, off-again relationship of Zach and Karen. And guys, if you are a Karen fan, especially if you're somebody who's a fan of Karen and Zach getting together, I'm not dogging on their relationship. I'm talking about the both of them. It's a toxic relationship. Zach was trash, cheated, gave her an STD prior to the series beginning, gave her an STD scare, hence why her first scene was in the doctor's office to get the results of her STD test. Um, basically didn't bring in a lot of money. Karen pretty much put him up. He constantly cheated, but Karen pretty much still took him back, you know, it's one thing to talk about how worthless Zach was, but then also to look at the fact that Karen still kept him around. But then you look at Andy being in the relationship she was in, or the affair, excuse me, affair. And I'm talking pre-engagement. I'm talking when Gary was still a married man and laying up with Andy after, night after night, telling his wife that he was going to the gym. It's almost like they co-signed on each other's bullcrap. Like, you know, Karen would say a couple things to Andy, but Andy would still do what she wanted. Same thing with Andy talking about Zach, but, you know, Karen would still do what she wanted to do. And I feel like another thing is that Karen seems to be a very independent character. And Andy said a few times, like, she wishes she could be as strong as Karen. You know, like, when she's done with somebody, she's done with them. Um, she moves on. She's able to stand up for herself. And it seems to me like... Andy needs Karen a lot more than Karen needs Andy. Yes, Karen has said many times, like, to the sisters that nobody's on my side, nobody's in my corner. And to be honest, that's fair. I mean, when you're an independent character, not, well, excuse me, when you're an independent person, more often than not, you're helping out others more than they help you out. Not to a fault of their own, but... Usually you're accustomed to standing up for yourself and looking at Karen's mom, you can kind of tell how she became a tough person to begin with. But one of the few times that you're vulnerable and you need somebody to be on your side, you don't feel like anybody's in your corner backing you up the way they, the way you think they should. And you feel a sense of betrayal. Now it isn't right to keep tabs, but typically if you're a person who does a lot more for the other person in the relationship that you're in, the friendship that you're in, whatever kind of connection or relationship you have with the other person, yes, when you need them on your side, even when you're dead wrong and they don't have your side, you definitely feel betrayed. And you could argue that the way that Karen feels now with Andy telling Fatima to move on with Zach, even though Karen still loves him, is the same level of betrayal that some fans felt that Karen did to Andy when she wouldn't stand by Andy's side during the surprise wedding that Gary put on for Andy. But you could also argue, well, Gary is pretty much a cheater that's been proven. So even if Karen did stand up there and they got married, she would have been right. It's just that I feel like Karen had every right not to co-sign on Andy's BS decision by marrying this cheating, abusive guy. So let's switch gears to Fatima. And kind of like where Karen has had Andy's back more than Andy has had Karen's. Not saying that she never has. It's just like the on screen, the numbers definitely are in Karen's favor. Fatima has definitely helped out Andy a lot more. Then Andy has helped her, even though Andy has helped her a few times. So, Fatima and Andy really had more of a assistant and, you know, boss kind of mentality. You know, where Andy was the lawyer, the one who had the higher ranking job, and Fatima was her associate, if you will. And as the series grew, you saw Fatima pretty much being a witness or a, you know, um, person who just saw all of the hectic things that Andy had to deal with as she dealt with being one of the few black people, well, mainly the only working black woman at that level in the law firm. 
you know, from the whole situation of Bellamy being on her butt about everything and then the whole Gary and Jasmine and Leslie stuff. And as season one went on, you kind of saw their friendship budding. It didn't really go anywhere in season one, but in season two, when Tyler gave the character of Fatima more to do, we really saw these two start to bond. The main thing that people really point towards is Early season two, when the FBI shows up to pretty much raid Andy's office, uh, Fatima went back there and hid some things in her dress or purse or whatever, but we never found out what it was, but whatever she hid must have been hella incriminating, which would have brought Andy down. But when Andy won the case, she brought Fatima up with her. Hey, I want partner. I want this million dollar, $1.4 million settlement. And Fatima also got a bump in pay as her assistant as well. So she looked out for her girl. Then, of course, you know, when Jasmine was, uh, you know, pretty much jumped Andy in the parking garage with her crew. Fatima was the one that showed up to save her. And there are many things that the other three girls or women don't know about what Fatima has done for Andy. I mean, heck, remember, Andy got to the point where she decided not to tell her friends about Gary anymore. So really, she either only confides in robin or fatima so i feel like on the andy side of things you know even though she hasn't done as much for fatima as fatima's done for her what she's done has been big like i just mentioned giving fatima that huge raise like you know giving the money to karen to start her salon and to be it's almost like you know a venn diagram you know what that is right one side is hate uh, excuse me one side is fatima one side is Karen and Andy's in the middle and that's the place she doesn't want to be. It's like she's loyal to both of them but for different reasons. And I feel like her telling Fatima to move on because she's seen how happy Fatima is with Zach. And it's such a thing. I mean, when you look at it from Andy's perspective, she saw Zach and Karen's relationship. She's somewhat seeing part of Zach and Fatima's relationship. Keep in mind, she doesn't like Fatima to tell her much about Zach. But, of course, she listened to Karen talk about Zach for years. And to be honest, you know, when you when you put yourself in Andy's heels, which I couldn't imagine doing because I've never worn heels because I'm not a woman and I don't plan on wearing them, but they must be painful. Uh, putting myself in her shoes, I would definitely see how she's able to tell Fatima to move forward because the way Fatima talks about Zach in her relationship, it must have been not just you know, difficult for her to hear based off the fact she doesn't want to betray her friend Karen. But think of it this way, from what we've seen of Zach and Karen's relationship in season one, one must, you could argue that Andy probably heard about Karen complaining about Zach for years. So to hear Fatima talk about Zach in such a positive way and how she is so happy and able to open up because of him, it's hard for her to believe that's the same person. So, yeah, you can definitely see why she would say, you know what, I think you should trust your gut and move forward with Zach. And despite the fact that Karen still loves him, well, does it really matter? I mean, how many times have Karen and Andy talked? Or should I say, how many times has Andy listened to Karen talk about Zach in a positive way? Not the whole, you know what, we're going to try again. I love him. But I mean... Has there ever been a time where Karen has been literally lighting up, where her face just lights up just talking about Zach the same way Fatima has? I highly doubt it. So I would say that Andy really isn't even loyal to herself and her own convictions and, you know, the guidelines she tries to set in place for her own life. So I would say that she's loyal to them both. And even though Karen doesn't want to hear it, Andy telling her to move on and telling Fatima to move forward is a tough truth for her to hear and accept, but it's what she needs to do. Kind of like how Andy wanted Karen to stay by her side, but she didn't because she felt this was a terrible decision and she knew her friend deserved better than Gary, just like Andy feels that Karen deserves better than Zach. That's not to say Fatima is settling for Zach, but she recognizes that Zach is not the same person he was with Karen. So, I mean, I started off this video saying that it was Fatima, but I think that 
you know, Andy's loyalty should never be questioned. That's just me. But who do you who do you choose, Karen or Fatima? But uh, I will say this: the way Karen's been acting, hell, I could definitely see her and Andy not being friends as much, if at all, and her just you know being besties with Fatima. You know, rubbing shoulders with her in order to get a cameo in the Zatima series if they get a season two. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon and select all. That way you don't miss out when I post content on the channel. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description. And if you'd like to donate, feel free to do so on PayPal or Cash App.